A few moments later. Hi, I'm here to clear some things up on my video that was posted on yesterday. For my negative people, I'm going to get to you. But first, I would love to congratulate all of my positive people that commented. You all were so kind. And I can tell you know how to read a room. And you definitely graduated high school. But let's jump right on into those people that were so negative and rude. It was a lot of concerns that you all had, and I'm here to address them. First question, did I get consent? Is grass green? Second question, did I teach my students this song? It's hell cold. Am I a bad teacher? Is Walmart still open 24 hours? Let's think about it. Should I be fired? Is Christmas tomorrow? Oh. And last question, does your principal know about this video? Are unicorns real? Let's think about it. Um, yeah, they are. But do you see how all of those questions I asked you all were so irrelevant? The questions in the comments that you all posted up under my comments was so irrelevant to me. But I just want you all to have a blessed night. And for those of you all that's trying to see me and you trying to say what's up, ski -yee. ski -yee. Yes, indeed. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Get that pose on them. Get that pose on them. Yes. Yes, indeed. Who we going to slay today? Because I ain't coming to play. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yes, indeed. Okay. Let's get it. Okay. Yes, indeed. Yo, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? Trick back again. Hit y'all another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely marvelous. And big shout out to all the channel members and subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a hot mess video today. And as you all may know, yes, yesterday was Messy Monday. Today is what? Trifling Tuesday. Yes, and you already know it goes down on Messy Monday and also Trifling Tuesday. But before I start that story, I want to send a special thank you all to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me this story. And also, keep these stories coming. Now, people, parents, men, women, leave me your eardrums. Now, after you get through hearing this video, I want to ask you one thing. Do you have a problem with this teacher basically reciting some of Sexy Red Ski Yeet lyrics to these students all in order just to get their damn attention? And you might be thinking, well, damn, Trey, we're going to start it off just like that. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Because we ain't come to play today. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got too much time left anyway on this damn earth. So we got to get right while we can. Now, look here. I ain't come to preach. I just come to do a little reaching and a little teaching because this teacher right here, Clearly, it's missing the ball. Now, this video came out just a few months ago where we have a teacher inside of this classroom basically reciting some of the six or red lyrics and also saying ski ye to get her students' attention. Now, one will be led to believe, like, Shardy, you couldn't do anything else in this world to get these kids' attention. I mean, let's go back in time. And for those of you all who are a little bit older, I understand it's going to take a little bit longer to go back. But let's just rewind that clock back real quick. Now, do you remember when we was going to school? I know some of y'all remember very vividly. Now, do you remember when we was going to school and the teacher wanted to get our attention? How did the teacher get our attention? Number one, they'll tap that desk or they'll tap that chalkboard or maybe the teacher will give you stickers or maybe the teacher will give you candy. We talking about like elementary school and stuff like that. Uh, kindergarten, pre-K. We ain't talking about high school students or nothing like that. But our teacher used all kind of measures to get our attention. Now, the teacher in the video is basically trying to justify her actions and also had the nerve want to get mad at the people and then had the nerve on the slick want to call the people dumb. Talking about for those who know how to read the room, uh, I can tell you graduated high school and talk about people who left negative comments. Now, I don't know what kind of comments the people left, but I'm sure, Shardy, all the comments wasn't negative. And now, some of you all may be wondering, well, Trey, 
You said Ski Yee when you first walked in. What in the hell do Ski Yee mean? Let's hear from Sexy Red herself what Ski Yee mean. Now, this is what Sexy Red says right here, as you all can see. She says Ski Yee. That's when, like, you see a cute girl or somebody with a big booty, or you are trying to holler at somebody, she told the news outlet. And she also goes on to say, a geek call is a crackhead, a dope thing. So Ski Yee is basically just an attention getter like most people use in the hood because you rarely hear anybody else talk like that. Like some people say, hey, shorty. Some people say, what's up, ma? Some people say, what you doing later, boo-boo? And some people just say, hey, girl. You get what I'm saying? So basically, it depends on what city, what state you at, what kind of call you hear. But let me tell you this right here. I understand, look here, that people say all kinds of things. But if you answer to somebody calling you a Ski Yee, chances are you are for the streets. So to sum it all up, that's what Ski Yee mean. Basically just a holler that guys use, or even women sometimes, but mostly guys. But also, if you look a little closer, Ski Yee means a lot more than what you think it means. Now, back to what I was saying about this teacher. Like she says, the reason why she done this was to get the students' attention. Now, she also goes on to say that she did not teach these kids these lyrics. But you mean to tell me that every kid in this classroom knew the song Ski Yee, knew the words and whatnot? So if they knew the whole of damn words, most children would say the whole damn thing. You get what I'm saying? Even the cuss words part. Now, I'm a very avid believer of this right here. Children, minds are like sponges. They soak up what's around them. You get what I'm saying? Like, for instance, if you put a sponge beside water, what that water going to do? It's going to seep inside that sponge. You get what I'm saying? Just like a child mind. Whatever you put beside a child, guess what? It soaks in their minds. So you have to be very careful what your child is taking in. So I know some of y'all might be saying to yourself right now, well, Trey, uh, tell us some of the words to this song. Because to be honest with you, I never even heard this song until my people sent it to me. Because I don't listen to Sexy Red. I don't listen to them people. You get what I'm saying? And no, I don't listen to Christian music all day long. And nothing is wrong with Christian music. You get what I'm saying? The point is, I have my own certain taste of music. Anyway, Ski Yee start off like this. If you see me and you're trying to see what's up, Ski Yee. You feel me? And it also goes on a second verse, which you get more raunchy and raunchier. It says, he want to elf with me, then I'm going to have him stuck. Ski Yee. Golly. So if a guy want to elf with you, you're going to have him stuck? That sounds like you're trying to get that man set up. Then the third damn verse goes on to say, B-I-T-C-H, looking bad and got a stupid butt. Ski Yee. And then the fourth verse, jewelry on your wrist, elf it, hold it, ski ye. And then the whole song just proceeds to get more nasty and nastier. But one thing that really stuck out to me in this whole song was this verse right here. And it's so damn appalling. And some of you all better hope your children don't say this verse for those who play this type of music around your children. And for those of you who think this video is cute, hearing those children recite sexy red lyrics. This verse right here really takes the cake. It says this right here. When you're with me. Put that wood all in my backside. Uh, uh. I'm a hood, B-I-T-C-H, sitting courtside. I'm hood. Now, do you want your children reciting this type of mess right here? But guess what? Sure enough, if them children know the word ski ye, and they also know it most likely that Sexy Red sing this song, guess what? Either they most likely have heard the whole song, or they're going to go listen to the whole song. So when your children walk around this house singing these verses or whatnot, or in school, or in public, and embarrass you, don't get mad because you thought it was cute. But the nerve of the teacher to sit up here and make a response video to the people saying basically that they didn't even finish high school just because they disagreed with what she was doing. And quite naturally, you should. Cause like I said in the beginning of the video, there's other ways to get children attention instead of using the most ratchet song that you can find on the damn internet. I mean, damn, if it ain't Cardi B one year, it's Sex and Red another year. And it's like the female rappers these days rap nastier than the damn guys do. That's a damn shame. So I ought to show you something right there. But guess what? The classroom is not a place for no ski ye. You feel me? Say it with me, you all. Ski ye. Classroom is not the place for that. That does not belong there. There's other ways getting these kids' attention. Call me to the classroom. We'll get the attention. Guess what? If you uh pay attention, you do good. Guess what? We'll give you stickers. We'll give you candy. We'll give you snacks, little drinks and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? It's other ways to do this. Because I'm quite sure those children are going to want to know what the whole song is if they have not already heard it. But back to the teacher once again. She said, I'm going to leave it on this note right here, that she did not teach these kids this lyric. So where do you all think these kids heard these lyrics at? I do they heard at home. Because I'm sure I'm not the only one who done went around family and friends or just heard people in general playing the most derogatory, the most nastiest music around their child. And the child is over there singing every word, tapping their feet and everything. You be like, damn, ain't nothing but a G thing, huh? But anyway, ask yourself this right here, people, in closing. Do you want your child to be 
interjected with this type of mess? Do you want your child in a classroom where this type of stuff is going on? Because there's other ways to teach your children. You get what I'm saying? And now also in closing, I want to ask you all this. Do you think if this was a predominantly white school that this mess would go on? Because as I've seen, it was mostly black children inside this classroom. And no, I could not show those children faces out of respect for the children and also those YouTube guidelines and also, you know, out of respect for their parents. So that's why you not see no children in this video. But at the same time, in closing, do you think this is appropriate for this teacher to be reciting some of Sexy Red lyrics to these students? And also, do you think it's appropriate her response to the people, basically calling the people dumb for those who have some negative to say? I understand people going to say all kinds of things. But like the late great Whitney Houston once sung in the song, The Greatest Love of All, when she said, I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. The only way the children are going to be able to lead if you teach them properly. And it starts when they're young. You get what I'm saying? It starts when they're young. There's other ways and other measures that you can use to get a child's attention other than using one of the most nastiest songs. And true enough, I doubt very seriously. Matter of fact, I know the teacher wasn't singing the whole song with the children with all the cuss words like some of the ones I just you know, recited to some of you all, but at the same time, that still does not make it right. There's other ways of getting a child attention other to resort to this type of measure. And for you parents around here who's playing this type of music around your child, you need to check yourself because when that child grow up and have 30 kids or when that child grow up ghetto and ratchet as hell, you can't get mad at nobody else because you have accepted that. So once again, in closing, please be mindful of that. Remember this, children of mine are like sponges. They soak up everything around them. Now, unless you want your child to be corrupted or you want your child to be some little hood star or whatever, do not play this type of music around them. Do not let them even be around this type of mess. There's other ways that you can go by getting a child's attention. And I want to ask you all this also. What do you think would get a child attention better? A rap song, lyrics, or some stickers, candy, or some juices? Which do you think will get a child attention and make them do what you want them to do? So please answer that for me in the comment section. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this video. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me and we can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. So next time, you all stay blessed and I will see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.